I've said it so many times, but today is finally the day I'm going to survive the apocalypse and beat 60 seconds. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Okay, so one of the most important parts of this game is the first 60 seconds when you're collecting all of the goods. I mean, that's probably why it's called 60 seconds. But I have a confession to make. I downloaded a little mod, and if I press F1... The timer has now stopped and I have unlimited amount of time to get all the supplies and all the people I want. I'm just, I'm going to get everything. This is going to be the most stuffed apocalypse bunker in the history of apocalypse bunkers. It's going to have more stuff than my house does. Okay, so let's walk around, Ted. Come on, any day now. There is a nuke that's about to go off. Oh, you can hear the music is stopping right now. So if I didn't have the mod, this is when I would have had to get down into the bunker. <laughs> this is cheating. I know I'm cheating, but I, I have to cheat or else I'm not going to make it. Okay. Uh Oh, deck of cards. I think you guys told me that if we have entertainment, they're less likely to go insane. Okay. Uh, Ted is still just running into everything in his way. I think I have unlimited time. <laughs> If not, I might die accidentally by getting blown up by a nuke. Okay, here's the radio. I know that's important. Here's some water. I know that's important. This is this is going to be the easiest thing ever. Bug spray. This is fantastic. I even had time to pick up a darn harmonica. So you know what? Ted is going to be making beautiful music. Uh, we got the gas mask. I know that's important. Oh, ammunition. I know that's going to be important. I, I literally might have everything. <laughs> Guys, I literally might have collected every... Si oh, the med kit. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine if I had unlimited time and forgot to get the med kit? Oh, I forgot the map. That's very important. Okay, now I have it all. Let's go in the bunker, Teddy boy. Oh, I probably have to, you know, unpause the cheat timer. Okay, unpause and now jump in. T Ted, jump in the bunker. Nope. I don't care if the timer says you have 45 seconds. Just go... Fine, I have to wait until the timer runs out. Six and a half hours later. Ted, please don't get blown up here. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna die. Okay, this is gonna be the greatest apocalypse bunker ever. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. It really wasn't a close one because I paused the timer, but that's okay. Another thing you guys told me is give them water every four days and food every eight days. And then, uh, I, I don't know. If I die now, I'm gonna delete my entire YouTube channel. It's difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. What a horrible way to spend your birthday stuck in a bunker. Timmy's staring at a flashlight though, so he's always happy doing that. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else has made it to safety. A radio could help with this. I never know when to use the radio, because I know if you use it too many times, it breaks. You guys are gonna have to really help me in the comments. You guys helped me last video, but hopefully you will help me even more, because I have to beat this game. Like I said, gonna delete my YouTube channel if I don't. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone down. Okay, so now it'll be safer to go outside, and I know Timmy is the best guy to go outside. It's also day eight, so I'm gonna give them all water, and now I'm gonna give them their first can of soup. Could you imagine if you've gone eight days without eating? Oh my gosh, that sounds horrendous. Mary Jane used to be so cheerful, but lately she's feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lessons. She keeps humming her favorite classical pieces, imitating the sound of a tuba. Oh, the last thing I want to do is listen to Mary Jane's tuba while stuck in a tiny bunker. That sounds horrendous. She said she would die for a chance to play it again, which may very well happen if we let her outside of the shelter. If this would happen to bring her a smile on her face, maybe it's worth it. Okay, fine. You know what, Mary Jane? If you want to go outside and risk dying, be my guest. All, all to play a tuba? I'm going to give Timmy food and water, and I'm going to send him out on the expedition for tomorrow. Uh, mutant rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're feral rats or bunnies. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't know. Just uh, shoot them. Yeah, get rid of these rats. I know I know you don't want rats in your apocalypse bunker. Okay, the phone is ringing. I, I did not even know we had a phone down here. I don't remember grabbing that during the uh, 60 seconds. That was more like five minutes for me. Uh, we may be hungry, but there are just some things that we'll never eat. Blah, blah, blah. The fungus. Okay, yeah, they, they asked me if I wanted to eat these suspicious mushrooms, and I said no because I, I just know we would have gotten sick. Ah, oh, great. It's day 21, and Ted just got sick. I don't know why. Hey, but Timmy came back. Also, it's day 18. I don't know how I came up with 21, but that's fine. What did Timmy get me? Two cans of soup, 
Is that all he got? Timmy, come on, man. He brought back all the three things that I gave him. At least the map didn't break. It says we're getting a radio signal from the government, which I know I have to use the radio, but I it's, it's gonna break. The radio is gonna break if I keep using it. Oh, it didn't break. It didn't break. Oh, Ted is just looking horrendous. Ted is looking like like an avocado. And I don't think humans should look like avocados. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. Oh, okay. That was good. That was really good. Something's growling in the darkness. We only had moments to decide what to do. I, I don't know. Use the flashlight. I want to see what the thing growling at me is. I think I heard a dog bark. We decided to check what's coming for us. Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? It was a dog. Okay. Okay. I think, I think Pancake the dog is gonna come back, and he's actually good, unlike the cat, which makes Ted sick because he's allergic. The military is transmitting again. They said their first step to locate any remaining survivors, a plane will be doing a sweep over our neighborhood this evening, and we're supposed to be out in the open signaling to it with a flashlight. Okay, this could either be really good or really bad, but I know you guys said the military could save us, so I'm gonna hope. Come on, military! At least, at least don't die. I'm hoping it's not bandits. Okay, it wasn't the bandits. Let's see what the journal says. Uh, everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Okay, that might have been step number one for getting rescued by the military, or I just wasted my flashlight. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? This seems super dangerous. So you know what? I'm gonna send Ted. He's dying of whatever illness he has anyway. Hopefully this doesn't kill Ted, but if it does, you know what? He was probably gonna die anyway. Hey, Ted's not dead. That, that actually kind of rhymed. Did it give us anything? Oh, we got one can of water and soup. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. No, Ted died right when Timmy got back. Well, he didn't get a med supply anyway. Uh, well, I do not like the way Ted is looking at me. Okay, Timmy really wants to go for a bike ride. This doesn't seem like a time for a bike ride, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot and hope he somehow gets a med kit. I really need a med kit in case uh, Dolores gets sick. Okay, now Timmy's out on his... Like, 24-hour bike ride. Okay, Timmy is back, but Dolores went crazy. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. I need to somehow find a way to get Dolores uncrazy, or else I'm gonna lose. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the in this country, uh, so there's a good chance there's still some blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. I'm not even gonna read the rest of it. We're gonna do the... Whatever the book is, maybe it'll raise our sanity and make our. Oh, wait! I don't think she's crazy anymore. I don't. I don't think uh, Dolores is crazy anymore. Oh, thank you, Auntie Ada, whoever you are. Oh, we received another radio broadcast from the military. Apparently, they wouldn't be arriving when we expected, but they suggested they won't be long. Okay, I'm gonna give them the gas mask. I don't really need the gas mask anyway. So hopefully they will save me now. I help you, military. Why don't you help us? I like how it tells you everything they're going through. So Dolores is fatigued, dehydrated, and starving. And Timmy is fatigued, hungry, and dehydrated. Other than that, they're doing great. It's day 42. Oh no, Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Some jerk was trying to catch him or worse. We need to act fast to save him. Oh, Pancake, you're killing me. You're killing me. I worked hard for that med kit. Achievement unlocked. Friend in need. Okay. So, hey, pancake. Okay, that can't be a bad thing. Look how adorable he looks. We got a visit today from a person with a physical mutation. He managed to grow several extra fully operational hands. Okay, he shared the story of his group. Okay, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, we're going to give him... Well, actually, wait, wait. What do I have more of? I have, how much water do I have? Six, and I have 11 things of soup. Yeah, we're gonna give him, uh, I'm gonna give him the soup. Maybe he'll help us if, like, bandits come after us again. Or he's just gonna eat our heads off. The army started broadcasting again. They are requesting a representative from all of the survivor groups to meet at the specified location nearby. Okay, um, we're gonna send Timmy because I don't want Dolores to die. Because keep in mind, if both uh, adults are dead, I'm dead. Okay, well, Timmy's back, which means the military didn't kill him, which I wouldn't have expected them to do. We managed to make it to the meeting in time, okay? We tried our best to answer questions, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully that means they'll save us now. Timmy prepared a short message to be transmitted tonight. There are a few options on how it could be done, so let's try to pick the best one or just go back completely. Oh, boy. Uh... 
I don't think the harmonica or the or the flashlight are gonna work. We're gonna use the radio, but I have a feeling eventually my radio is gonna break. Don't break the radio. Don't break the radio. Yes. Okay, the radio's not broken, and I guess he sent out his transmission. Timmy went outside and climbed to the highest point and could find a blah, blah, blah. Uh, probably not the safest place, but he managed to transmit the message successfully and return safely. Now we wait. Someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but it's been, but they've been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news. Maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? This is exactly how I died last time, but I didn't have Pancake the dog. And I think that might have changed things. I don't know. It's day 60. I have to take a chance. Oh, uh, achievement unlocked the end. Please tell me this is good and not bad. Did I get killed again? Wait, wait. I don't know if I won or lost. Safe, safe at last. The military came to our rescue and took us away from this hole. It was our home for a little while, but we can't say that we missed this tiny shelter at all. We don't know if our future is bright, but if it is, let's just hope that there's more nukes lighting up the sky. Yes, there aren't more nukes lighting up the sky. I survived. I don't have to delete my YouTube channel after all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.